here today. It's just you now, hey guys, I got the three very good looking men, but there's nothing like a room full of just energetic, special, creative, wonderful, visionary room of women. So now it's part two of the show, and we're excited to come back with an artist showcase of curators and artists and creative founders of districts and organizations. And with us, we are looking forward to the show on March 27th to the 30th, Home with Art. And I have to, before I get into my panel of these wonderful artists, I have to give a shout out to Manny Ruiz, Hispanicized 2015. It is happening today. I have not been there to even see my space yet, but Manny, thank you, and thank you again to Lexi Terra, um, uh, uh, Terra, and also Catherine um, Johnson for just creating such a wonderful platform of the who's who in the Latino USA, digital bloggers, marketing journalists, film and music, and it's an amazing platform bringing over 1,700. This year we expect about 2,000. I am so excited. Um, and it started today, tonight, uh, right now, I'm supposed to be at the Teclo Awards, which is the huge forum of the digital best PR agencies throughout the USA, as well as other uh, uh, digital bloggers and fashionista bloggers and mom and poppy bloggers. And so a uh, shout out to all my bloggers, journalists, music, and art, and film. I'll see you there tomorrow. I'm super excited. I'll be there also with uh, 40 students from Aspira that are going to be leaders in training for a sprint mentorship program, as well as murals for morale, where we uh, use and empower the artists and empower the art scenes in Miami by empowering a charity. Our charity of choice is Aspira. So with that said, we're back to At Home With Art. And like I was saying, Bloomberg Radio here at Art Talk every single Monday, prime time at 6 o'clock. From the canvas to the red carpet, we bring you an extraordinary guest and platform to really talk about the wonderful art scene in Miami, from shows to galleries and receptions. With us, we have Katie Penner, uh, Penner and uh, she originally was from Canada. And uh, Canada, boy, that's cold. <laughs> you must be so happy to be here. And I have to tell you, Katie, you really live your life and passion with the fusion of your colors in your beautiful canvases. And I'm so impressed with your work. Welcome, Katie, to the show. Thank you very much for having me this evening. Oh, I'm so happy. And let me tell you, it's been long awaited. Uh, you know, Katie works out of a studio uh, called Futurama, which is a Barlington Group project. It's, uh, I'm going to have uh, uh, Katie and Patty Vargas talk more about that. But I have to tell you, we at the Art Experience, my real bread and butter is supposed to be doing art tours. And Little Havana has been on our scope for several years. This year we decided to uh, do a stand there information kiosk. It hasn't been the easiest thing for me, but only because of time. Uh, because I'm always involved with so many projects like this platform that hopefully if I'm not there day in, day out, these platforms of radio and journalism does bring back people and at least gives a voice to every single art district and artist out there. And Patty Vargas, your heart is, I mean, if you know, if it was on a visual, it wouldn't fit through this room. Um, you know, you just have such passion uh, for the arts and for creating Futurama, Fielnes Culturales, which I know is not easy. You know, when we start with something, it, it always starts with the seed that gets like and somebody has to water it and 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 prune it and throw some clean, uh, you know, dirt on it and more, you know, sunlight. And you think the natural sunlight's going to come from here, and all of a sudden it's not. And you start start getting artificial land, whatever it is to make it grow. It's not easy. You've been doing bienes culturales, and you've been sitting part of Futurama for how long now? Um, it's going to be five years in November. Five years in November. I need you close to that mic so everybody can hear you. Patty Vargas, um, 
I have to let you introduce yourself, okay? Because we were, we know a lot how we could talk about mediums and everything, but as as president and executive director of Viena Culturales, I know you're more than that because you're always helping me set up something last minute. So tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing with At Home With Art, what you bring as a curator to Little Havana, because I consider you a curator. Well, thank you for having me here, Susana. Um, well, I think Vierne Culturales and the community of the Little Havana, along with you, because now you're part of our community, we're just a big family. Um, we started, uh, Vierne Culturales is now enjoying its 15th year in May. We're going to have, we're going to have a celebration. Um, we started the Little Havana Art Walk three years ago in October, which wow. we can't believe it's already been three years. And we started Umbrellas of Little Havana with Katie and I um, oh, and for our Basel. So it's just a big community, and, and whenever we have an idea, everybody just runs with it. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I had to represent Little Havana. I, you know, when we did the art experience five years ago in 2009, we decide more, uh, I guess six years, huh? No, can't be. I Well, I think we actually opened, the company got incorporated, but I think I would say officially 2010. And um, our first area was design district. And then the galleries got displaced because of the square footage going up with all the fashion designers and the designers um, coming in and restaurants. So they went into South Beach and into Wynwood. And then we got called to please represent Wynwood. Eventually, the artists got displaced from Wynwood and started to go to downtown in Little Havana. Well, we never wanted to do South Beach or Little Havana because we saw so many tour operators. And we just figured, let's keep our niche, let's keep what we know best, and we're tour raiders, historians, and curators of the contemporary art scene. But I have to tell you, when I went to Little Havana, I have to tell you that it was phenomenal. And to see, you know, how many these double-decker buses, not to say anything because they're bringing people in and it's a wonderful opportunity, and we thank them for that. But to see how a lot of people go to Little Havana and say, uh, can you tell me where Little Havana is? And it, they're in it. And all they see is the Domino Parks and that's it. So at that point three years ago, we wanted to see how we would really approach this with the same way that we approach uh, Wynwood and bringing people to talk about the wonderful histories. So, you know, we learned the Bay of Pigs and we learned about all the Cuban-USA relationships. And one of the pivoting points for me to do this was to do the Jeffrey Loria collection at the Marlins Park when it opened up in 2012. And that's when I say, because we always start with a museum or a collection. So Wynwood has two, Marty Margulies and, uh, and the Rubel. And 